All right. Thank you so much for uh, uh, for everyone who has joined us for this uh, special event. So uh, as says, we are Team Dynamic, and we are excited to say that this is the partnership is continuing with Greenlight Solutions for this semester. So let us uh, introduce ourselves. My name is Rashab Sharagar. Uh, this is my second, not only my second semester at Greenlight Solutions, but it is also my second semester working at Dynamic. And so I'm, I am a junior with a double major in finance and economics at ASU. And I'm excited to be a project lead for this semester. And joining with me are my solution near teammates. Hi, my name is Abby. Um, I'm a double major in business sustainability and supply chain management here at ASU. So go Devils. Um, basically, uh, I, you know, I joined, I was just kind of curious about this club. So this is my first semester. Um, I'm a solution here and it's very exciting to be able to present this to you today. Hi, I'm Hui Ling Chen. I double major in Mandarin Economics and Communication at University of California, Davis. And this is my first semester with Greenlight as a solutioneer. And I'm so happy to be here. All right. So we are excited to continue with partnership with Dynamic RE. So this is a real estate startup firm when the project partner, Masroor Hawk and Emily, Le who's also the board of director for Greenlight, he and Emily Lamont, he uh, re realized that the, the technology technological boom is, is trying to change the way of the real estate return on investments to their clientele. And so Dynamic RE was a subdivision for big home investments in order to integrate technology in, on property values and investment investment opportunities for their own clientele and their real estate industries. So Dynamic has once again approached to Greenlight Solutions Foundation for a challenge. And that challenge has led to them for a, at a micro level. So Dynamic has been challenged us to create us to create a tool that wants to ensure whether the uh, whether the short term rental opportunities are eco friendly enough to offer them for guests. The challenge was that we wanted to estimate some of the challenges that wanted to challenge the whole short-term rental operators and long-term investors to see whether there's any benefits that is offering them in a sustainable mankind. According to the booking.com websites, there are now 73% of the guests wanted to see that uh, their short-term rentals through Airbnb or Verbo uh, wanted to see that they are practicing sustainability and they see a lot of changes on sustainable benefits for not only for the owners, but also for their guests. Therefore, we came up with the solution that is to build a sustainability framework to in order to track any changes and notify themselves whether they're doing the sustainability practices in their own short term rentals. And this was been organized into categories by rooms and by metrics to track some of the changes their clientele believes uh, they wanted to make changes in order to, ha to have sustainability benefits. However, in order to make it an in easily digestible format, this uh, process was actually been created using an ebook to educate their clients as well as their guests who are living through Airbnb and Verbo to stay at this place, to learn all sustainability and how it is beneficial for short-term rental operations. And here's Abby to tell you more about the SDGs related to project. Um, so there are about four that aligned with ours, which is quite a lot. Um, there's a lot of words on the board, but essentially uh, we're really about educating short-term rental owners. And that really goes into, you know, economic development and infrastructure, because we're really working with these owners to educate them um, and incorporate sustainable models into their, you know, short-term rentals. And, you know, in order to save money or, you know, use resources less, this of course, you know, also shows that you know, it's, it's UN, so it's global. So it's not just a local impact that we're having, but it's also global. Um, so basically our vision was be, like providing this ebook uh, to short-term rental owners. This of course, uh, you know, incorporates into our mission, which is encouraging short-term rental owners to really become more sustainable overall, um, which is based off of budget carbon footprint and efficiency levels. So going off of that, so we have the four objectives that we kind of set out. So the first one was basically researching 20 
or 12, yeah, 20 examples for sustainable short-term rentals to really formulate this framework that we really wanted. Um, and of course, this ties into objective two and three. We basically took that and divided it up into metrics and measurables. This is, of course, categories, rooms, things that we wanted to see change in the home, um, which, of course, leads to objective four, which is transferring this into a spreadsheet and an ebook for these rental owners, um, which, of course, is also incorporated in the spreadsheet and document. I'm going to pass this off to Hugh Wayne. And this is our final deliverable, the ebook we created with our project partners. We have a short introduction with some statistics that demonstrate the need for our project, and that is for the sustainability in short-term rental. And this book talked about what aspects to improve on and how to incorporate them in short-term rentals so that user can get a better understanding of what specific action to take to make short-term rental more sustainable. So let's look into the ebook in more detail here. And we also created an infographic that demonstrates the importance of our project. First, the infographic show the impact of real estate industry at large with statistics like 30% of carbon dioxide emission come from real estate. Then below that, the infographic framed the problem at the home level. For example, 50% of water used outdoor is lost due to inefficient irrigation method. Moving to the next slide. In this slide, it shows the impact at home level like installing a water efficient shower head. You can shave up to 88 loads of laundry. Since many clients are looking for investment in real estate, we also highlight a 10% higher appraisal value that greenhouse, uh, greenhouse received than the traditional counterparts, demonstrating the financial potential of home sustainability. Finally, at the bottom, we also draw attention to our project and have a link to the website. This infographic demonstrates the flow of our project process and we did primarily research and contribute to each initiative. All right, so here's how you can help. So you can uh, scan in the QR code. I'll be, I'll first thing, firstly, uh, please visit the website that we created last semester. Uh, we wanted to, uh, we'd like you to add more resources to this website and fill out the survey. Uh, uh, through this website. Remember, we wanted to add more value to the uh, properties and we wanted to subtract the carbon footprint. And also, please check out our ebook uh, uh, on the scan through scan QR code and sign up in order to get the ebook for yourself and learn about how sustainability and its impact for, for the short term rentals. So, a huge thank you for our project partners. Uh, Mashur Hawk, who's also the board of directors for Green Light Solutions Foundation. His incredible support has been impactful for the real estate industries. A huge thank you to, uh, to the community at Green Light Solutions. This wasn't done without its support of uh, br bringing all so many consulting projects and uh, to many, many, many organizations and business, businesses. They were managed to impact all the sustainability because of our effort. And thank you for everyone uh, who are here in person as well as in Zoom tonight for, for learning about this project and interested in making an impact on our projects and learning more about sustainability. And we are uh, grateful to see what's next uh, in this project, especially with ours with Green Dynamic. And as always, feel free to connect with LinkedIn with us. Uh, you have our QR code scanned and please connect with us on LinkedIn and that is the end of our presentation and I'm open for, for two questions.